Hello and welcome back to another unboxing. This time I will be unboxing Coach Purse. Middle an Achilles heel of mine. Especially when they're on sale. Looking forward to this. Hope these all are too. Most of my unboxings will probably be purses. With an occasional clothing thrown in, but primarily purses. So join me. And as I always say, you think we work for this, but always cut away from you and kids. Have a parent help you, supervise you, okay? Just gotta get right into it today, tonight, etc. Because I am looking very forward to this. I always look forward to my purses, especially Coach. I would say most of the purses I own coach <sighs> surprisingly purses are the one thing I don't always stick to my basic black I do go for other colors and other designs primarily I like the sh shoulder bags but I do appreciate totes and crossbodies Reveal. Ouch. I suppose you could say this is, uh, besides bumping the <laughs> tripod. I guess you could say this is somewhat of myself. Definitely a big part of reclaiming my mojo. As you see, trademark coach. Maybe it's kind of funny, but I look forward to these just as much. That's the purse itself. I guess you could say maybe it's a pride thing. Go. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm also playing Mortal Kombat while doing an unboxing, so bear with the out of camera derpy face. Hey, I got my standings I gotta hold in the towers of time. Gotta need my crit money somehow, don't judge. tend to favor certain lines from the coach uh, store. Certain uh, names and types just have a very, very sentimental tie to me. And that is what this is. As always, one of my favorite things about the coach, the dust bags. I use them, I'm very serious about them. Very serious about my purse care. Because it's partially sentimentality, but also maintenance and if for some crazy reason I ever did decide to consign at least I can say I'm consigning good quality 
because I don't I look for good quality when I do thrifting. Now this I've been very excited to get. This gorgeous bag. This is part of the Tyler carry-all collection. Now this is the 28. So it's a little smaller than the other Tyler carry-all. This is a watermelon pink. What well, the first time this went on sale? I missed it. And this, yeah, bummer, but hey, that's life. It happens. You move on. Well, browsing the website about a week ago. One more of this. I grabbed it. Because there again, this type of bag, the name Tyler, and the color are very, very, very close to my heart. So being able to get these in the pink, which yeah, definitely deviates from my norm with the black, but. I have very special reasons for wanting this specific, these specific Tyler bags to be pink. Let's just to say it's my way of honoring some very special people in my life. who are always in my heart and soul. And what to the specs of this? You can either carry it like a satchel, I granted my lighting is not the best, but it is a very, very vibrant pink. And I love that these shoulder straps can sort of fold down. That's my only gripe with some of the crossbodies that work as a duality like this. I like being, I like when the straps are able to lay down. I find it to be less impeding. There again, now this is just my personal opinion and review. Others may feel different and that's the beauty of having differences of opinion. I'm not any more right than they are. They're not any more right than I am. Now for what I'm seeing, just like the larger Tyler carry-all, you have two separate compartments here. And thankfully this is one time. I'm glad I have excess of tissue paper because this did not come stuffed with the tissue paper. But I can remedy that. I definitely listen to the experts when it comes to keeping these stuffed with their shapes. I mean, maybe it was a return, but if it was, it's a blessing for me. Has, has its tags, shows all that to do. In addition to these two uh, compartments, which would definitely hold a Kindle paper white or a Kindle seven inch. Now I wouldn't know for sure without going and rooting around for a Kindle 8 or even a Kindle 10 if these would fit in. But you can definitely fit a big hinge clutch, your phone, your makeup, some books, and 
probably even a small change of clothes if need be, or slip your flats in if you're wearing heels. Guilty of that. Nice little protective center compartment. It's here to instructions. And it's crossbody straps. I'm thinking this was a return because usually Coach has these wrapped up in foam as well as the plastic. Well, for whatever reason, they returned it. I'm hardly one to complain because I was really hoping for this color. And then to make this a crossbody, it has little loops in here that you can attach this to. That admittedly is a feature I like when you can not only adjust your strap length, but yeah, you can choose whether to carry it as a satchel or a crossbody and not have too many straps impeding you. Like sometimes you can't detach smaller straps, but maybe that's also a good thing because it could be more clutter and that's less thing. I know I want. So here we go. This is with the crossbody strap attached. My view, my review of this thus far, just from opening and putting together. I'm very, very, very impressed with this. It's nice and soft, but also kind of has that little bit of toughness to it too. Nice, nice texture. I think they call this gloved hand leather. Either way, though, I do love my leather purses. Uh, any offended vegans out there, be offended. You can be offended at my leather. Personally, I'm offended at a lot of the fake leathers out there because the sheer amount of chemicals in it don't seem to be any more ethical than me. Buying something that is going to be durable and last for an insane amount of time. At the end of the day, though, I'm happy with what I choose. And if you're happy with what you choose, that's great. Don't. Just don't lecture me and I will do the same for you. So, let's go to real quick. This one has the crossbody. Like I said, naturally I will be adjusting it to me because I'm short like that. So I would say fun size, hobbit size, but here we are. Now obviously this is As you can see, it has the nice little uh, feet on it. Which way? Well, I wouldn't put these on the ground anyway, but I appreciate the protectiveness of it. Obviously, the big difference between this and its larger counterpart is this with the cross by chef. I'm pretty sure that there were adjusted, it could be used as a shoulder bag, like its counterpart. Some people like that long strap for the shoulders. I personally don't. I like where I can keep it close to me, either like this, or yeah, for a shoulder bag up, on the sh up secure. 
one thing that's been an adjustment has been using cross bodies and keep them close to me. Again, that's my own personal taste of the matter. So you have my unboxing and my review of the Tyler Carryall 28. Currently, they still have these on the Coach website in black, white, and the signature canvas. Unless a few more of these pop up, or if you want to take a chance on secondhand websites with purse flippers, which I get, I get purse flipping and wanting to make money, but let's be reasonable with the flipping too. Some are just a little out there. My own two cents. Take it how you want. All in all, definitely I would say 10 out of 10. I will definitely be wearing this with a lot of black to make it pop. I would say white, but I hardly wear white. Not unless it's a glow Zumba party. That's the only time I wear white. I'm definitely looking forward to this. Very impressed with the roominess. Loving the texture. Loving the color. All in all, I am really glad that I was able to catch this solitary purse when it was on the website so if you are looking for a decently roomy bag that you can convert from either satchel or crossbody i would recommend the tyler carryall 28 the specs are on the website and they have a little feature in the photo where you can click on it and see what various fits there are. But if you look for me first, here you go. And I can say as a mom, uh, this is perfect for having a toddler that's a little more independent. Still needs a couple things every now and then. I am looking forward to lots of years with this. Stay tuned. Um, I may not be unboxing some of my previous stuff, obviously, but I will be offering opinions slash reviews. So, stay tuned. Thank you all for tuning in to my coach. Tyler Carriel 28 unboxing in watermelon pink. Check out the website for other colors. 10 out of 10. Worthy, worthy buy. It's convertible. So a little something I would say for everybody. Everyone one out there, have a safe morning, day, evening, wherever you are. Keep tuning in for more unboxings. Love to you all. And I will see you all soon.